morning was like, you know, this really is quite strange, isn't it? And really, what am I doing here? You know, it's nearly ten past six, and I've now got to go into the chapel and pray and stuff like that. It's work, isn't it? I suppose it's like, you know, this is what you're here to do, and it's like, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> Lords, the second service of the day is only half an hour away. Time that is spent in silent contemplation. The silence is like a wonderful spiritual bath, which we invite you to get into to relax your spiritual muscles so that you can start listening to God, listening to other people, and listening with the ear of your heart to your own deepest self. Even the walk from church to breakfast in the refectory should be conducted in silence. I must apologize, I missed the second service. Let me leave you in. Thank you. It's only when breakfast is over, two and a half hours after getting up, that speech is once again permitted. Basically what the company does, they sell live sex chats off the screen. Mm -hmm. They can text big boobs to 8499 and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But girl right. girl yeah. tessellation, there's no blokes involved, <laughs> it's just uh, lipstick lesbian stuff. Oh, well, not a bad job, is it? <laughs> no, I've had worse. <laughs> you do need a break from it. <laughs> well, you come to right place, you'll not see anything like that, will you? <laughs> According to Father Christopher's plan for the group, the first week will be spent learning the routine. Each morning, he or Father Luke, the novice master, will introduce the group to key monastic values. I think what I received most, appreciated most from this morning, was that silent period. We're talking about silence. Because I don't come from any faith. Or I'd at this period in my life, I don't have God in my life. There's actually nothing to fill that silence. At the moment, it is kind of blank silence. So I think my short-term objective would be to try and work out how to use that silence and benefit from it. I'd probably say it's at the other angle for me, because actually when <clears throat> there is silence, I'm actually thinking. You know, and I constantly think about family members, past, you know, ones that are dead, ones that are here, and you, you just use that time to even say a prayer for them, because I'm not religious, so to say, but I am very aware of a higher being. I know a lot about silence, if you know what I mean. I spent long periods of time in solitary confinement through misdemeanors in prison. So for me to come here, it isn't, it isn't a struggle. After midday prayer and lunch in silence, just half an hour is set aside for recreation. It's an ideal opportunity to get to know the monks. I think it's always got to be an individualism, makes a choice, mm. which is the way to the good for me. Mm. And I've stayed with it, and um, here I am in these funny clothes and uh, 
Brighton nil, Plymouth two, and Brighton had a man sent off. What sort of team? That was like. An old goal. Very, a know, man sent off and then a penalty. Yeah. God, I'm not too worried about that guy. Really. Dead and off game. Huddle like us here. I've read a wee prayer out for you. That's really good of you. Really and good of you, Gary. and yeah. I've, I've said to the Lord, Lord, please, would you help uh, brother Rob? Because I know he'll be in mourning this morning after, after the game last night. I appreciate that, Gary. But I think we'll be okay. It's a fairly busy time, so. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's probably, you need to you learn a lot of discipline through, I think. Take a few days to get into it, but once you get into it, it'll be all right. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm sure there'll be a few missed appointments. <laughs> I think so. A few missed appointments uh, we've got. I could, I could feel like going to bed now. I'm knackered. By the time the men head back to church for a public mass at 5.30, they're beginning to get a sense of the challenge that lies ahead of them. Mass is followed by another half-hour silence before Vespers, and finally, dinner. The last service of the day is Compline at 9 o'clock. With an hour to spare after the evening meal, Father Mark volunteers to answer any questions the new arrivals may have about monastic life. I think the celibacy thing would be very hard to come to terms with, wouldn't it? Mm. It's not a selling point. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. <laughs> Unless you're a unit or something. So are you totally content like that you don't you will never have a family or children? I don't think you could ever say well, I would never say that that is a state of contentment. Obviously it's a denial. But it's not about saying there's something wrong with marriage, something wrong with family, something wrong with physical sexuality. It's about saying there is something greater in the future, and for the sake of something greater in the future it's worth making a sacrifice of something now. So how many of the monks would you say were, or is that a personal question? <laughs> how many it depends what was in the blank that you didn't <laughs> fill. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely picked up on. <laughs> uh, I was hoping you were going to fill in the blank. I think it's fair to say that's a question we don't usually ask one another. Fifteen hours and five services later, and the group is approaching the end of its first full day in the monastery. God, I'm here one day and I'm already thinking, have I really got to be here for six weeks? It's incredible, it's as if you really don't have any time for yourself. And to think that some of these people have done this for 25 to 30 years, it's very difficult. It's a very comfortable environment for a bunch of men to live in. If you're 16 and you're looking for a career with guaranteed success, you know, get yourself down to your local monastery because um, I don't think it's the hardest job in the world. And you can be easily very good at it just by towing the line and not swearing, and, uh, and not having sex with anyone. There's 22 monks in here, and every one of them love you and accept you. The acceptance here is like, to me it's like walking into heaven. 